Welcome back friends. In this video, we shall go to look about the plastids. Plastids. So, plastids is the combination of different organelles. An organelle of spherical shape found in a plant cell and a few eukaryotic cells. So, they are mainly found in the plant cell. Or they are spherical shape, the pigment containing organelle found in the plant cell and a few eukaryotic cell. They develop from structure known as Protoplast is found in the meristematic region. So, one among their characteristics is that they contain pigments. And in the types, regarding the types of plastids, we have three types of plastids, depending on the part of the plant which they, they are found and their function. So, we have leuco, chromo, and chloroplast. So, let's start discussing about leucoplast. Leucoplasts, these are plastids without any pigments. They don't have pigment. And they mainly found in storage organs like seeds, roots, young leaves. The main function of leucocytes is the storage of food. Depending on what type of food they store, leucoplasts are classified as. So sometimes teachers can ask you, define leucoplasts. It's just the plastids without any pigment used for storage of food. And or defining ameroplastids. So amyro here amyro means carbohydrate. So ameroplastis, they are plastics which store carbohydrate. Then lipido means they store lipid and proteino. Proteino means they, they store protein. And then from there, let's jump to the chromoplasts. So chromoplasts they contain photothenesic pigment, mainly red, orange, or yellow, known as carotenoids. So chromoplasts, they contain carotenoids. They are found in fruits like orange, tomatoes, also in flowers. Co different appearance of flowers, it's because of chromoplasts. So function of chromoplasts, they identify ripeness of fruit. That's ripeness of fruit. And they hope in the process of pollination, one of impart color to the flowers, they help to attract insects and birds for the process of pollination. Then let's go to the chloroplast. Chloroplast is the plastic containing a green pigment called chlorophyll. It is mainly found in the leaves, young stems, or any green part of the plant. Chloroplast in a containing chlorophyll. It is also found in green algae and the bacteria. The structure of chloroplast. Structurally, chloroplast is spherical or oval disc shaped organelle with green pigment, which is chlorophyll, contain plastids found in almost all membrane of the kingdom plantae, mesophyll cell and band cell, and in certain algae or algae like members of kingdom protectista, cyanobacteria, blue green bacteria, and other photosynthetic bacteria member of the member of the kingdom monera. Quayo chloroplast. In a coin, chlorophyll. And the major function of chlorophyll is used for photothenesis. So, here, the two membranes encloses a fluid like space called the stroma. Within the stroma, there is a parallel learning membrane called the thyroid. Each thyroid consists of a pair of membranes. Chloroplast always contain chlorophyll and other photosynthesis endoscopic pigments located on the system of membranes. So within the stroma called the thyroid, the membrane runs through a gland substance called the stroma. Ko kwenye ni chloroplast na kutuna kitu kwenye to stroma. Stroma ni kama cytoplasm ya chloroplast. Mle kuna kwa kuna different membranes. Kwa membranes ya jinazo pita zinaitua thyroid. One pair of thyroid can be distinguished into two regions, which is glana and internal region interglano region. So glana is just like accumulation. Then interglano is the region which connect one glana and another. So maybe assume this is our glana, this is our another glana, this is our glana, this. So this is the interglano lamella or interglano region. So the interval between one glana and another is called interglano lamella. The interglano lamella together with the glana hold in chlorophyll in most sweet position for photothinness. So, I am just going fast because I know we shall discuss this more in the topic of nutrition. 
when we are discussing with the structure of chloroplast again. So the stroma contain enzymes for carbon cycle. Stroma contain enzymes for carbon cycle. During carbon dioxide fixation reaction, circular and naked DNA. Ko our stroma na kwa na enzyme za carbon cycle ambao ni ni dark reaction of photosynthesis. Lakini pia tunakuwa na circular and naked DNA. Tunakuwa na few and small seventh type liposomes. Tuna chemicals such as sugar and organic acids. Na pia tuna starch grain. Pia kuna enzymes present in the stroma involved in the second stage of carbon dioxide fixation. Like in all of these, we shall go to see them in nutrition. Diagram of chloroplast. Of course, you can be asked to, to draw the structure of chloroplast. But you can just see, visit BS and, and draw it. And if it, is, if it is difficult to do so, let us show you a demo of, of the diagram of chloroplast. So chloroplast looks like this. This is your glana. And this is your interglanal lamella. This is your another glana. Another glanum, glanum. So glanum is is just singular, and then plural is glana. So one membrane in the glanum is called thylakoid. So this is called thylakoid. All of these bunches is called glana. You have lipid droplet, circular DNA, outer membrane, inner membrane, starch glanus, and things like that. So let's go to the function of chloroplasty. The main function of chloroplast is to carry out photosynthesis. That is the main function, producing carbohydrate or sugar. So the whole mechanism of how does it produce sugar using carbohydrate in the water is discussed in the topic of nutrition. But here what you should know is the main function of chloroplast is to carry out it. So other rules, they give plant leaves their color due to green pigmentation. They carry self-replication due to the presence of wool. DNA acted the temporary storage of end products of photosynthesis. Because end products of photosynthesis, they are temporarily stored in the chloroplast. Like in the rules of the membrane, our thylakoid membranes. Thylakoid membrane, they hold the chlorophyll in most suitable position for photosynthesis. The membrane system is the site of the light dependent reaction in the photosynthesis. The membrane are covered with the chlorophyll. Because thylakoid membrane, Zico pale kwa jire kodi nini Clofil in the year Suta position They make a system Of intergranal membrane in the stroma Suitable for light dependent reaction to take place Kwa hiyo Thyroid membrane in short They are involved in the light reaction of photosynthesis. We have rules of stroma Stroma it contain enzymes for the dark reaction It contain enzymes for the dark reaction That is carbon cycle or sometimes for C4 plant, it is a like pathway. All of those concepts, it, they are discussed well in the nutrition. Like in the excess carbohydrate, they are stored in the stroma. Note, the double membrane of chloroplast play the role for exchange of material between the outer and the inner of the chloroplast. So exchange of the glucose, exchange of the oxygen, carbohydrate, water, it is through the double membrane of chloroplast. So now let's jump to the to the adaptation of chloroplasty. So presence of chlorophyll for trapping sunlight, presence of glana and lamella, which the system hold the chlorophyll in position, in the most suitable position, presence of permeable outer membrane which allow the material to enter and leave the chloroplasty, low material to enter the waste product to leave the chloroplasty, presence of circular DNA and the ribosomes helping the formation of Photothinus and even in the replication of chloroplast. It has a it has ability of stroma to store food such as starch. Like in the pure presence of stroma, which have enzymes, enzymes for the dark reaction. So prokaryotic nature of chloroplast. It we may discuss kule kwenye endothermic theory. So like prokaryotic cell, the chloroplast are the following. It is it is microscopic, circular DNA few and small ribosomes to share discuss collocal and endothermic seal. Similarities between chloroplast and the mitochondria. Both replicate themselves. Both have fewer small ribosomes, that is seven. Both are double membranous cell organ. They have an outer they have an outer and inner membrane. 
both can generate energy. Mitochondria can generate energy in the form of ATP. Chloroplasts can generate energy in the form of carbohydrate. Both are microscopic. Like in a study question, you want to reason. Mitochondria, chloroplasts, and bacterial shape have structure resemble to one another. Explain. I mean bacterial cell here. Kwa hiyo, majibi yake nadhani kuli tuisha yaona. And here you can see other answers. The way in which mitochondria, chloroplasts, and bacterial structure resemble to one another are follows. Kwa hiyo, utakujia hapu kuona kwamba they are all microscopic. They all have circular and naked DNA. They have fewer and small ribosomes. Lakini pia unaulizo maswali. If mitochondria were to perform the rule of chloroplast, what modification would it require? Manaki hapo naangalia. Kwa mba mitochondria na chloroplast zinafanana kwenye bazi ya vitu. Kama ribosomes. Lakini kuna vitu vina tafutiana. Kwa hiyo, if mitochondria were to perform the function of chloroplast, hapo ndo utangalia. Kwa mfano, mitochondria kazi yake ni respiration. Ita produce ATP. Lakini chloroplast ina produce carbohydrate. Mitochondria it break down carbohydrate. While chloroplast ina kwe na ina tengeneza carbohydrate. So modification kwa mfano ya kwanza. Outer and inner membrane should be permeable to allow photothenesic materials. Not respiratory materials again. So here is photothenesic materials. Another adaptation. They must they, there must be development of chlorophyll for trapping light that is sunlight they must lose cristae to give room for glanum and the thyroid when i is potassium cristae il glanum and thyroid is part of us the matrix should be converted into stroma and be equipped with photosynthetic enzymes when be to uk photosynthetic enzymes such as rubisco and pepkes lakini pia they must be equipped with components of photophosphorylation in study of oxidative phosphorylation kwenye inner membrane lakini pia kuna maswali mingine kwa mfano haya additional to draw a well labeled diagram of chloroplasty from your diagram above mention the component and the function of the structure or parts involved in the light and dark reaction of photosynthesis kwa hili ni swali la cytology pia liko kwenye inahitaji knowledge of nutrition dark and the light reaction of photosynthesis hawezi kwa sijua kwa cytology mpaka kwa some nutrition lakini pia kuna some of the model answers here ambazo hizi na kudirect to wewe. Zina kudirect wewe insi gani ufanya ya maswali. Lakini pia we have difference here. Difference between mitochondria and chloroplast. Kwa mfano chloroplast is the site for photosynthesis. Lakini mitochondria is the site for aerobic respiration. Chloroplast they are present in plant cell. Only in guinea parts. Lakini mitochondria they are present in both plant and animal cell. Na all parts of the Akini chloroplast they contain chlorophyll and impart green color. Wakati mitochondria they contain enzyme for oxidation food. They do not impart any color. Lakini pia kuna common structure for plastids. Kati ya zile plastids sat kuna common structure. The plastids are bound by the two membrane. Lakini pia plastids contain their own genetic material. DNA and a, for DNA and a protein synthesis machinery. All plastids is the letter to any leukoplastids. Lakini pia kuna table hapa. Hii table ina kudifenshiati ya kati ya three types of plastics. So, kwa mfano kuna physiological process. Chloroplast anakeri for the thinness. Uwe nani for the thinness. Uwe nani for the thinness. Kwenye pigment uwe ana chlorophyll. Lakini kwenye chlomoplast anakuwa na ana carotene pamoja na zanofil. Kwa hiyo, they are ready yellow o orange wakati huko ni huko ni green huko ni colorless kwenye leucoplast kwenye location huyo hapa na found mainly in leaves huyo hapa mainly in fruit and flower huyo hapa abundant in storage organs such as roots seed and young leaves wakati kwenye rule they trap light huko they give color to the fruit wakati huko they store energy so you must understand about these about this about this plastids because sometimes they can ask you about them Next lecture, I will be teaching about the endoplasmic reticle. Let you be together in the next lecture. For more understanding, subscribe my channel for more updates. Wish you nice studies. Thank you.